like is the biggest thing to tell somebody that's just starting out in jiu-jitsu and starts maybe maybe feeling discouraged by the fact that they're just not picking it up as fast as they feel like they should be able to? That's a really good question, right? Um, I would say don't try to learn too much. If you can take one thing a month and learn that, one single move, one single technique and learn that per month, even per three months and learn that properly, it's better than learning a whole bunch of stuff half-baked, right? I see so many guys, technique collectors, they're the dudes who are reading 20 different jiu-jitsu books, they're watching 30 DVDs, They've got a million techniques, but ask them to put on a mount choke and they don't know how to do it. Right? Ask them to escape the side mount when a big guy's on top of them, they can't do it. Because they've spread their awareness and their attention over so many different things. They've never learned any one thing or any few movements properly. Jack so don't, of everything, master of nothing. Exactly. Jack of all trades, master of nothing. Don't be overwhelmed, guys. You don't need to know that many moves. If you know 10 moves well, you can be a good grappler. If you know 20 moves well, you can be an excellent grappler. Okay? Any other questions here, guys? Yeah, do you have any uh, suggestions for strengthening like joints, tendons, things like that? Yeah, I mean, there's so many different... I'm gonna put an article on my website. By the way, guys, I have a website. It's Jiu Jitsu Brotherhood. If you type that into Google, it will be the first response. That's how you can stay in touch with me if you want to organize a seminar, if you want to, wherever I'm training in the world, you guys are always welcome to come and visit me if it's Australia or London or South Africa, wherever it is. Um, I'm going to be putting an article up on that soon, Pete. There's so many different things that, that you can use. I find the thing that gives me the biggest bang for the buck for strengthening my body for jiu-jitsu is rock climbing. I go to a rock climbing center once a week because that gives you really, really good tendon strength. You know, a lot of weightlifters have got strong muscles, but their tendons and ligaments aren't that strong. So I would say rock climbing is excellent. Yeah. Also, these movements we did in the beginning, really good for your your joints. What's your average like training schedule in a week? Like normally, I'm in a free event. You know, because I'm teaching so much, man. I'm always on the mat. You know, teaching private lessons and. And then it all kind of blows into one. When it's coming up to an event, then we start doing more sparring from stand-up, more strict timing timing of the rounds. That's basically the only thing that really changes. But throughout the year, I'm lifting weights, I'm swimming, I'm doing a bit of rock climbing, I'm doing a little bit of yoga, I'm doing these animal movements, I'm, I'm always doing supplemental conditioning. Towards the competition, I start tapering that off and I start increasing the sparring. That's pretty much how I work it, hey? So I've got like a a foundation or a core of techniques that's the backbone of my game. All of you guys, look, if you've been training grappling two or three years, you will have developed a foundation, right, of, of basic movements that you use. And then what I do, Tom, is if I see a little something cool, I'll just add it in, you know? Or if something's, if you'll find some techniques stop working for you. Maybe your body changes or you're not as flexible as you used to be or you get a bit bigger or whatever. You might actually have to put some te techniques aside or your opponents, your training partners start catching on to stuff. You gotta keep adapting always. So a bit of both, man. A bit of the same old stuff and a bit of new stuff, you know? I'll be 40. Rich. <laughs> yeah, rich, yeah, in a Lamborghini. Uh, 10 years from now, I think it's going to be very difficult to be competing at the top level of grappling at 40. So I'll probably just be a teacher, man. Um, hopefully, if, if I continue to look after my body and my joints are still working properly, I'll, I'll still be rolling with my 20 year old Pro Bowl students who are big and strong, you know. Um, yeah, maybe I'll be in Thailand, in, in Patong, with the... Uh, you know what, huh? <laughs>